Today's pattern magic style we're going to create in Claw3D is called a Depari shirt. In the description it says, the Depari on the chest utilizes the fullness of the bust. The sharp accent in chest area of the crisp, high quality cotton shirt has a coolness that is reminiscent of a safari style shirt. This style includes a collar stand and a sleeve, which we're going to be developing as well. If you want to follow along, you can download a bodice block in PDF or claw format or a claw 3D project file. See the Gumroad link in the video description. If you're interested in claw and 3D prototyping and want to learn more, I have a course for beginners on Udemy you might be interested in. You will find the link to the course in the video description. So let's get started. Hello and welcome back. Today I will be developing this shirt. I call it Depari shirt. We will begin with developing the back of the pattern. As you can see, back here is on fold. The, uh, this dart has been removed. This dart has been transferred into the arm side. Shoulder dart has been transferred into the arm side and um, reduced by half. The neckline has been widened by half a centimeter and shoulder has been lengthened by one centimeter as well. So let's just do it. I will remove the start. Oh, and of course the back as well is now straight. So this start is, has been closed as well. So close that, remove this point. This start, um, it will open into the arm side. I will rotate it here. And now I will adjust the arm side to smooth the line. This has been done. Next, I will widen the neckline by half a centimeter. And now we need to lengthen the shoulder by one centimeter. So I will get rid of my points. widen the shoulder. Next we have to transfer the shoulder dart into the arm side, reduce it by half and shorten it by two centimeters. One. So I will close it. Then I will see what the width length of it is. It's 894 so we need 694. Next step will be to close it by half. Edit dart. The total width is 1.7, half is 0 0.85. So I will make it 0 0.85. And as, as you can see, the dart will be narrower. Okay. So obviously the shoulder needs to be straightened out. Next, we will work on the front. Let's just start with the easy bit. Neckline, widen by half a centimeter. Lower it by one centimeter. Now we can easily create this button stand. It says that it's longer than the front by three and a half plus three centimeters. So let's just create 3346. And the width is two and a half centimeters. Here's the button stand. So we need to extend it up top by three and a half centimeters. And 
in at the bottom by 3. And here we have a center mark, so I can just um, distribute between two lines. Just to mark the center. And this seems to be ready. So I will put it aside. And we'll continue on the front. So it looks like we again don't have this dot. The bus dot is now two thirds of its original width. Shoulder has been lengthened by one centimeter. Let's do it. So to make sure that our uh, arm side is nice and smooth, I will need to close the uh, transfer the bust dart in some other spot. First, I will mark the bust line. Right. Next, I will merge this dart because. It's already merged in our next step, so we can just do it now to make it, things much easier. I will also get rid of this point because this is the additional small dart here, which we will not need later on. We'll just make it nice and straight. Rotate. Make it straight. I did that. So now I'm going to close this dust temporarily so I can widen the shoulder. I will rotate it out of the way. Like this. Next I will possibly get rid of this. Uh, I'll keep that one just in case. I'll get rid of this. I will turn these points into convert them to curve points. I can't touch this one. I'll convert this into a curve point. Like this. And now let me see. Convert the curve point to make sure that I can Adjust the entire curve, lengthen the shoulder by one centimeter, and after this, I can return my I can return the bust. Uh, I, I can rotate this dart back into the arm side. like this. So now the preparations are done. We've done the shoulder, we've done the widening of the neckline and we we'll lower the neckline. Next step, this interesting panel. So first of all it says from the bust point to the center front and the distance here is five centimeters. Five centimeters. So I will mark five centimeter um, point and draw internal line. So this is the first one, right? Five centimeter. Then this says that here we must draw something that is 18 centimeters into this direction and then nine centimeters starting. Aha, uh -huh, one more thing. We have to close Remember, we have to close some of our dart. So let's do, do that. Edit dart. So according to instructions, we need to close this dart by one third. The total width is 331. So one third is 1.1. 1 .1. 331 minus 1.1. 1 .1. 
the dot should be 2.2 approximately. Well, let's do that. Okay. So here's our flattened front slightly. We can continue. So the line here, the length of this line is 18 centimeter, and this one, come, starting from this edge of this um, bust dart, is 9. So they should meet somewhere at this point and form this um, outline of the panel. I think it's easier if we just use ellipse to find that point where they meet. So I will put the center here and give it a radius of 18 centimeters. Let me move this out of the way so we can work with it. And another ellipse center is in this point. So let's just do the same, but the radius this time will be 9 centimeters. And at the intersection of these two ellipses, we see the point, and this is exactly where we need to draw. Uh, this is the outline, the corner of the panel. So I will draft, draw this line, place the point here, and the next one's supposed to be somewhere here, and then continue into the arm size. So let's just do this, that and maybe just close it here for now okay so here's the outline of the panel what do we see we see that this is a straight line until this point then it follows the um side and this point is really not required so i'll do just that i'll take this curve and will shape it to repeat the shape of the arm side. This is straight, straight, and everything seems to be in order. Our next step is to create two panels, separate panels, as you can see. So one is this, and another one is this one in gray. We'll take our trace tool and just trace this pattern piece. So one, two, upper side of the dart, then this piece here, up and a neckline. Put it down, a bit messy. Let's just remove some of these, some of these lines. Cool. And another one here, here, this line, this one, this one, and this one. Yes, I think that worked. Excellent. So I will clean it up once again. And now we have these two pattern pieces. Together they comprise our front. One thing that we need to do is to create this fold away piece. We need to unfold here. So I will unfold this pattern piece and then we will trim it at these points uh, at these lines here as you can see we only need this part here so I'll just cut it off cut and remove and add a fold line in this place all right so this part is done we have achieved our back the button stand and now the front as well the next part will be to assemble it and see how it looks. So let's just, so let's do it. All right, let's see. 
So first of all, we need to get rid of the old fronts. We don't need the old fronts anymore. And we will create a copy of these. But later, first of all, let's put them on. So as you can see, some of the bits floating here, I will temporarily archive this piece. And let's place this on the avatar. This front goes somewhere here. Right. And this one goes here. We'll move this front out. And the first thing we need to do is to fold this facing bit. So I'll just move it in place like that. And now we see sort of where we are at this point. So let's do some sewing. It looks like we have no sewing here, which is great. We can apply it. Let's do sew in 3D, it'll be easier to see. Here. Then we need to sew the sides. This bit and this bit. Next, you will see that this diagonal line is sewn into this line. And this one was definitely into somewhere here. And between themselves, these lines are sewn as well. So this bit to this bit, and this is here, and this is most definitely here. Okay, let's try it. Okay, not bad. Some extra sewing bits, as usual, floating about. Let's just get rid of these. When the dart is removed, we always end up with a leftover sewing, which just lingers there annoyingly. All right, so one front is done and looks good. Let's, let's copy these here. Good. I think it looks pretty nice. So get rid of this and this. Excellent. So next step. Our next step is to create a collar and sleeve. Let's start with the sleeve. We can see that the length of the sleeve is 58 centimeters. Uh, the width is not stated here. The height of the cap is 13 and a half. Okay, we have something to work with. So let's create a squ um, square. Height is equals 58 centimeters. The width is unknown at this point. Next thing we know is the height is 13 and a half. Let's create that line. And this is the oh, wrong way. This is the sleeve head height, 13 and a half centimeters. Let's place a point anywhere here and start working out these lines here. So this is BAH and FAH. This is back arm side H, I'm not sure what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's length. So all we need to do is measure the length of the back arm side. It's 21.53. This point, uh, this line has to start at this point and finish at the sleeve. Um, at the bicep line here. So we'll just do that. So start the line 2153 as far as I remember. Let's continue it until it equals 21 until the length of it is 21.53. Okay. Same thing happens with the front. Oh, hold on. 
This is BIH minus 0.5, which means we need to subtract half a centimeter. So 2103, let's do 21. 21. And the front is the length minus half as well. So here's our one and two. And that's 1988 minus half will be 1938. Nineteen and three eight. Good. Now these lines are done. Let's draw a vertical line and next thing is the elbow line. It does not say where it is but Bunker calculates it as length of the sleeve divided by two plus 2.5. So length of the sleeve is 58. 58 divided by 2 plus 2.5 is 31.5. Here we go. This is the elbow line. Next, at the bottom of the sleeve, it says that we have 11 centimeters at the front and 12 at the back. Let's do that. Add point to intersection and split the front to 11 at the, at the front and 12 at the back. Then I will draw the sides like this. And the next is we need to curve a little bit our sides. So let's just do that while we edit. So we're moving them inwards in front line inwards one and um, elbow line one centimeter. Okay, so that looks all right. So after I recorded the video, I realized that I did not address this two centimeter distance here on the draft. So I will just do it now. I will extend this vertical line. Then I will need to mark this 12 and 11 centimeters. So at the back, I'll add the point to intersection, add 12 centimeters at the back, and 11 centimeters in front. Then I will connect these points. And next you will notice that they all shifted sort of at this elbow line. So I will add points to intersection to these three lines. And then I will move all these bottom lines to the right by two centimeters. Next you will see that there's also this one centimeter curve inward and outward. So I will mark this to the left one centimeter. And after that, we'll just continue um, draft as usual. As you can see, this creates much more curved sort of look than the one shown in the draft. So I think it would be correct to go with either or, depending on what shape of the sleeve you prefer. Let's work with the uh, sleeve head. It says here that at the back we need to raise it by 1.5 in the front 1.5 and then uh, curve it inwards at 1. So the front line is divided by 2 but it's raised somewhere at the quarter. So let's just split it 
by four. And maybe do the same thing in the back too. Like this. So, at half, so we, we see that this is what's happening here. So it's a little bit lower. It says that it's split um, here in half, and then the actual transition is one centimeters below. So let's uh, do that, move that by one centimeter down. And somewhere here, so we'll curve go up and then down, and here up and then down. So how much down, we don't know, so we'll just make it work. First of all, I would like to create some guidelines here. This one and a half centimeter line. And same here. And inwards one centimeter. Okay. Now we can create this beautiful line. I'll do it this way. I will place an inner line. I will get my edit curve point tool and simply raise it up first then lower it at 1.5 and here as well then I will curve it inwards here at say like this and by one centimeter here I think it looks pretty decent good next step is to curve this one this line a bit it looks a little bit too jagged I'll move it out of the way like this put it back okay next thing is creating the elbow dart elbow dart is one centimeter below the elbow line and it's one centimeter wide and six centimeters long so I will split this line to first of all locate the left side left leg of the dart and then right leg so it's one centimeter segments here we go this beginning this is the end of the dart and then I will draw six centimeter leg and another one right so next thing I'll do is um, finish the lower edge of the sleeve I need to make sure that this line is forms 90 degree angle and this line connects to the center I will create a perpendicular line and we'll move it here and then I will just move until it intersects with the center somewhere and shorten it like that right well that looks kind of cute let's close this one here all right the sleeve looks fine I now will attempt to cut it out yeah it worked fantastic so I can move this out of the way And now, clean it up a bit. And 
and we also need to mark four centimeter calf right offset is internal line four centimeter calf good I think we're ready to go so let's take a look what we've got here we've got a weird sleeve here hanging out so we'll just gonna archive it out of the way now we have a sleeve here which we need to sew into an arm side first I will place it here in place maybe here okay move it out slightly and let's sew it on so first of all I'll sew this little dart and the sides Now we need to sew it into the arm side. So let's take a look with what. So the back into this back and into this front. So these ones here. Okay, that's easy. We'll do the back one. And we'll do the front. Good. Now let's see what happens. I'll just need to move it slightly because it looks like the hand is not going to fit in. There. Here we go, the sleeve. Let's create another one. And we're good. This looks like a cuff to me, so let's just create a cuff as a separate pattern piece. Here they are. Next part is the collar, uh, the button stand and collar. Let's make a collar. We'll create a square. It looks like it has to be four centimeters high and the length will need to be the combined length of the front um, neckline and the back neckline so before we do that let's just figure out what our combined length is this is the back and this is the front and it's 1945 easy so width 1945 height is four Here's my little collar. Then you have, we have to split it in three. It's three parts. Split. Three. Next, the last third here is raised by one centimeter. Let me make it much larger. One centimeter. There's a um, right angle here. And in the end, it's three and a half centimeters tall. So now first of all I would like to notch the back. So 776 I will create a notch. Cool. So here's where our back neckline finishes. So this one here goes up by one centimeter. It's all kind of all raised. So let's just create point up top as well and then we'll raise all that stuff by one centimeter okay so this is how it is and then it's three and a half centimeters and a right angle here too so let me add a perpendicular line here I will move it to the end like this 
Hmm. And then make it three and a half centimeters long. Okay, and this is where it's supposed to end. So let's just do it this way. And I think I would prefer to this to be a bit curved so we can get nice sort of matching fronts, you know what I mean? So there'll be right angle here. So let's curve it slightly like this to get this nice kind of line here. Right, this we don't need anymore. Let's smooth it out, get rid of these angles. Right, well, it looks kind of good, so we're just going to unfold it to create another side of it. So this is a collar. I will place it on here. Now I will sew it on. Let's see what we got. So the back here, right here, you can see where the dot moves, where you are. It's very convenient. So let's sew this to the notch, to the back, to the back um, um, neckline, and front here is sewn to here. Let's see what happens. Looks good. Next step is attaching the button stand. Oh, and there's also belt here. Check this out. There's also belt three centimeters tall and the length is obviously the um, combined length of front and the back. Right, so let's figure out the button stand first and then we'll fix that. So I will bring it back from the archives and see where I want to sew it on. So we'll take the back back. Actually, remember we needed this is one single back, so let's just do that. Let's just merge these two and get nice one back. So this button stand, let me move these out of the way, is sewn into this side. And there's another one sewn into another side. So let's do that. We'll sew this to these pieces. And then we'll take it and place it the front. Okay, we're missing bits. We forgot that we have a collar. Let's redo the sewing. Try it again. Good. We'll create another button stand on the other side. Now it looks a little bit um messy. Let's just give it slightly less particle distance. We'll give it five. Great. Let's sew it on. Okay, it looks nice. And of course the belt. Let's not forget the belt. The combined length of our edge here 16.7 and 37.39 with 37.39 and height is 4. This is a half, so let's sew it on. Here. 
here we go and then create another piece right there well that doesn't hold on what happened to our but of course our sewing is wrong here because we did not take into consideration the three centimeter belt let's fix it right much better and maybe maybe the last thing I would do is merge these belts here like this let's make sure that these are right sides yes okay so this is done and let's see what's happened I think I need um, sharper line here so I'll we'll just create a nice fold and maybe just add a bit of a interfacing to the fronts like that And here we are. The Depari shirt, aka page 9, is complete. I think it's a very nice style. Um, the it's almost, you know, out of all styles that I've seen in Pattern Magic, this is probably one of the wearable ones. So with some adjustments, I think it could work for in a lots of occasions. So thank you for watching, thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.